Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications. Have you been looking at land and heard the terms ranch, farm, and homestead thrown out there? Are you curious what each of these means and how they differ from each other? Well, in this video, we'll give you an overview of each of these terms and how they differ. Number one, farm. I think we all have a general understanding of what a farm is, but per the United States Department of Agriculture, a farm is any operation that is able to produce at least $1,000 in agricultural products a year. Now, this is a very broad definition, but in general, a farm is any kind of enterprise that produces crops or animal products for profit. As we saw from the USDA definition, this profit does not have to be very large, so there are a wide range of enterprises that could be defined as a farm. Some of the most common ones you will see include crop farms. These are the sorts of farms that produce those wide expanses of wheat or soybeans that you see when driving across country. But they also include a wide range of farm types, including small family farms, as well as specialty farms such as Christmas tree farms or lavender farms. Fish farms are another kind of farm that is growing in popularity. And these are the farms that raise a lot of the fish, such as tilapia, that we consume on a day-to-day -day basis. Dairy farms, these are another common kind of farm you'll see when driving across the country. And they range from the traditional image of a dairy cow farm, designed primarily to produce milk, to farms that create specialty milk or cheese products using goat or sheep milk. Poultry farms, as the name would suggest, these are the farms that produce the chicken, turkey, and eggs that millions of Americans consume. And meat farms. Meat farms are the farms that raise animals for the production of beef and pork. And that brings us to number two, ranches. Ranches are generally farms in that they produce animal products for sale and profit. And there isn't an official definition of what constitutes a ranch, but generally we think of ranches as meat farms where livestock are raised under range conditions. So usually ranches raise larger animals, the most common being cows, but it could also be buffalo, sheep, or goats. One of their defining characteristics is that the animals are allowed to range to some degree. Ranch also has a geographic connotation. We don't often call operations that raise beef cows in, say, the Northeast ranches. So often we think of ranches as being in the western part of the United States. And then we have homesteads. Now, again, there is not a definitive definition of a homestead, but in popular culture, a homestead is often thought of as a house and the surrounding land that is owned by a family and designed to create self-sufficiency. So the key difference between a homestead and a farm or a ranch is that homesteads are often not thought of as profit-generating enterprises, but rather a way for a family or an individual or a small group of people to live off-grid in a self-sufficient manner. But as you may have guessed, all of these definitions are somewhat interchangeable. There is also a lot of overlap between smaller family farms and homesteads, and many people who are homesteading may also meet the definition of a farmer. After all, homesteads often produce some crops or livestock for sale, and thus can often meet the official definition per the USDA of a farm. The key again here being that homesteading is primarily done with the purpose of living off the land and creating a self-sufficient or sustainable lifestyle. Whereas farms and ranches are more likely to be slightly larger enterprises designed to generate a profit or an income for the farmer or rancher. Now, if you're in the process of buying property or real estate and you're wondering which is right for me, you may want to consider the following characteristics. First is what your ultimate purpose is. Are you trying to buy your land or real estate in order to build a business or make a profit? Or is your focus primarily on self-sufficiency and off-grid living? If it's the first, you're likely looking for a farm or ranch. And if it is the latter, you are likely looking for a homestead. Also, what is your interest? Do you want to grow crops or do you prefer raising large animals like cows? Or are you trying to focus on a specific lifestyle or farming practice, such as permaculture? And how much are you able to pay for the property? To be profitable, farms and ranches usually require somewhat substantial acreages. And per the USDA, the average size of a farm is about 445 acres. In addition, farms in particular tend to require high quality soil 
and prime farmland can come with a fairly hefty price. High performing ranches can also be very expensive, although ranch land on average may be a little bit less than farmland used to raise crops. On the other end of the scale, homesteads can be more affordable, primarily because they are smaller, but also because homesteaders can be a little more flexible, they may be able to make their enterprise work on less expensive land. But of course, as with farms and ranches, a homesteader does need to make sure that they are acquiring land with soil of sufficient quality to allow them to raise the crops that they desire. But at the end of the day, unless you are running a very large operation, you probably don't need to worry too much about how your enterprise will be defined. It likely makes far more sense to simply think about the kind of crops or animals that you would like to raise and the location. And then from there, look for land that has the soil, natural resources, and surrounding infrastructure that you will need to be successful. But what do you think? What are the differences between farms, ranches, and homesteads? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, you're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. While you're on our website, don't forget to explore our other $1 down properties. And finally, don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening, and more to come. Mm -hmm.